Hello, Tahlequah, and welcome to Tahlequah's board game adventures, uh, our continuing uh, adventure into our board games we hear. Today we're going to try the board game Dixit. We have, uh, this is part of the uh, non-traditional items that you can check out at the library. We have over 50 board games, I believe, now. Um, this theme this time will be uh, because of the summer reading program. Uh, imagine your story. Uh, we picked a game uh, that is kind of based on a card game with storytelling involved in it. So um, let me proceed a little bit, introduce ourselves. My name's John, and over to my left over here is Jane. Say hi, Jane. Hi, John. <laughs> <laughs> and right in front of me this way is Shelby. Okay, so we're set to go. I'm going to just introduce uh, a couple of the, the, all the parts and pieces that come with this so we have an upfront version. It does come with a kind of a scorekeeping uh, board that you fold out with rules, I'll switch it this way, with rules to show how to score. And then it's got a scoreboard where you use your individual token, each player, to keep track of how many points you get. If during the game anyone gets up to 30 points, of course they win. If we cut the game short, whoever has the most points um, wins at that time. If we run out of cards, we just add up the points. So it comes with uh, a kind of uh, layout board. Of course, directions, which we will be looking at um, frequently. Um, the, I find on this game the scoring is a little uh, interesting, uh, learning how to uh, keep track of things. So. We'll try it out and see how that works out. And then it has, I'm gathering some here, place tokens that, uh, that they call, what do they call these here? They call them voting tokens in different colors. Uh, every player chooses a different color of a t uh, token, I'll show you that. And these little cards then get placed down on the cards for scorekeeping. And we'll, we'll run through that. The next piece that's here are the actual little colored tokens you use to keep score your card. And they look like little silhouettes of bunnies. I think that's what it was supposed to be. There's a green one. So there's various colors, uh, up to six players. And that's available. And then the major aspect of the game is uh, the cards, the storytelling cards. And they'll be dealt out according to the instructions. And uh, we'll be using those. Each card has a picture on it, and with that picture, you'll be able to create a certain storyline. Um, now, it can be a storyline that you present in the opening of the card to start the game, or it can be a phrase or even a sound or anything reflective to that. And the challenge is the other players to uh, use their cards and figure out which is the active player's card, the, the one who uh, introduces the card at the time, and uh, then place the tokens on those cards when they're laid out. You'll see as we play the game uh, to gain points. So those are face down and they'll be passed out. They've already been shuffled. And let's see. I uh, wanted to point out there are, on the instructions, there are certain ways to play the game with four, five, or six players. And how many tokens each player gets. And of course the instructions, how many cards. However, today we will be playing with just three players. And there is changes for three players. So for example, uh, we'll just say if you have four people playing, each player gets uh, uh, four voting tokens and I believe up to six cards yes, each. So if you're four, five, or six players, you get six cards. Now, if you're going to do three players, which we are, then each player will get seven cards five voting tokens, and then the rest of the scoring and everything is still the same. So we'll follow that. So without further ado, let's get on with playing Dixit. Here's the scoreboard and instructions on how to score. So first I'm going to grab the tokens that we introduced. I'm going to lay them out and each three of us, one of us, will pick a color. So shall we go to that? Red. And I'll take the green one. Okay, and we'll put these back. Okay, so now I'm going to set this aside just for a minute, right here, and I'm going to move the voting tokens here so the audience can see that there's a bunch of them. Now these tokens, uh, since there's just three players, we, we pick one through five of our colors. So for example, 
blue, she gets, you want one, two, three, four, five, you don't want six. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay, you want one, and there's four. And then Jane, you, you have red. Have one, so I don't I don't think uh, here's, yeah, here's three. Some of this looks pink, but the, yeah. And you got all four. And four. Thanks. Okay, and I've got green. One, two, five, and three. Okay, so I've got those tokens. Now all the rest get put aside. And as I said before, uh, depending on the player, you look at the instructions, depending on how many players are, uh, tells you how many tokens you get. Okay, I will take these over to here. I will push this back in place, and hopefully that's pretty good. All right, so we all are tokens. Now, we will take the cards, and who wants to start? Want me to deal? Start first? Okay, everyone's shaking their head yes, so I am assuming that's a signal to go ahead. <laughs> okay, since we're playing three players, we all get seven cards. Okay, I believe that's seven. Can we look at the cards? Yes. Yeah. Now will we be we will be pulling from the stack, so I will set these uh, I want them in view of the camera. So we'll set them right here. And I believe you can still see them. Alright. So now and we can yes, we can all put our little rabbits right here in the start and all right. Okay, so now the idea in the game is that the, the person who has a story right away from their cards can speak up and they are the ones who start the game. Does anyone have a story yet? And I'm looking at my cards and the idea is to look at the pictures in your cards, just come up with an idea, a story. Uh, use a phrase, a word, something that best describes the card you have. Do not show it. But pull that card and lay it face down in front of you. In a game of three people, the other two players who are not the active player, the active player is the one who has the story. Um, the other two players will pull two cards. In the regular instructions, usually each player just pulls one card to remind them. But since we're three players, uh, the other two uh, outside the active player will pull two cards. So I'm going to start all falling down. <laughs> and then what you'll do is place your two cards face down and I'll collect them and then we'll shuffle them. Okay, so I'll hand them to the active player. I will take these cards and we will shuffle them. <laughs> okay, now along the side here you'll see one through six. These are spaces to lay the cards face up. No one knows what orders except uh, the people whose card, they will know which is their cards, but the other pe people will not. So, uh, the first card I pick will go here, the next card I pick will go here, the next card I pick will go there, the next card I pick is there, and the next card I pick is there. Now, there's one, two, three. So, Jane. Uh, for example, if you, uh, whatever you vote for, you pick the number of your, your color and put it on that card, they put their tokens on the person falling down, and I admit, yes, that is my card that I picked, all falling down, and because of that, let's see the rules now. If all players find the active player's card, the active player, I get zero points. But each of the other two players get two points, so they get to hop up in front and two points. So I'm in the back line. Oh. So what happens now is that these tokens go back to the players. These cards get pulled. They get set aside over here, face up. And each player now, including you get two cards, Jane, pulled from the top. And Shelby. And then me. I only get one because I only use one. Now the next active player will be Jane. We go clockwise. Jane, she'll come up with her story or whatever, the card. She'll lay down her one card. And Shelby and I will pick two to match it or try to match as close as we can. Okay, so 
Mine will be follow the widest river. The widest? Yes, the widest. Widest river. Dang it. Oh, I really wanted to keep that card. <laughs> I, don't, well, I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't have a good okay. clue for this one. Okay. I so I pick my off. two. Shelby picked her two. We hand them to Jane. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Shuffles. And then. Sh I did my shuffle in secret. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> You said the widest river. <laughs> Oi. Well, I'm going to get the obvious one. I know, I took the hard part. That's my card. Is it your card? So, <laughs> so you Shelby it. gets to jump two points. I get to jump one. <laughs> yeah, that's and hard. Then that's, and then, let's see your Shelby's. Okay, now it's Shelby's turn. Okay, now. Okay, fear. 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 Oh, that's the clue. Is that one here? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's right. Out of the view, I don't know why. Oh, these are mine. Oh, okay. You think these are all? Oh, that's it. Hmm. That one's deep. Fear. All right, Jane. I'm going to go with this one. I'll go with this one. Okay. Which was yours? <laughs> it's one. One. So uh, I score here, and Jane puts hers here. Yeah, because I was. Afraid of what's but coming out of my head. That's my card. Your head. <laughs> that's my card, so I believe I score one you get point. You get a point. A point. So I, 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 I yeah, get... my rabbit is stuck in the okay, so high grass. Okay, so I get two there. points, one, two, and then one for Jane picking that one. So, that's the scoring. What an idea. Because my <laughs> theme, what an idea. Okay, so we have a car shuffle, 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 shuffle. All right. Oh, sorry. oh, that's right. Okay, time to vote. Oh, wait, I haven't been looking at them yet. Okay, what an idea. Don't think about it, just go fast. Yeah, I'll do that one too. Dang it. <laughs> I've got to get better at my stories. That is the one. So <laughs> I, I, like, I got to think like John. <laughs> yeah, I get zero points. So. Uh, hey, I finally get two and the points. Other, and every player gets two points. One, two. Okay. <laughs> so we'll put those back. One, There's that. Three, four, five. Okay. Oh, oh, I give it wrong. Okay, let me collect these, everyone. Two cards. Two cards. Go ahead and pick one and I'll pick another one. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. I'm really okay. excited. And I, and I get one card. <laughs> All right. Okay. As you see in this game, it is hard to come up with an idea sometimes with these cards. They're very creatively drawn and uh, it can take a little bit to come up with a storyline or a phrase or, or wording for the cards. And as you can see, the rabbits are racing like crazy. This one too. <laughs> You're deciding not what to use. So these are the two I want to use for mine, maybe. Oh, for your whole life. But if it's... Oh, well, that's good. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll just say... 
Oh, I'm like John. I can't see. Is oh, that, is that it? Oh, yeah. I can't see? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Darn it. <laughs> I'm just gonna... There you go. I'm just gonna get rid of this. I should keep my meanings to myself. Yeah, I know. I should <laughs> keep mine, like, to one word like you did. Because that's a lot harder to figure out. Thank you. Hmm. So what was your, what was your uh, clue? I can't see. I can't see. Wait. Oh yeah, because I haven't put down one card. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to play it. You didn't get any clues. But... Oh, I'm the <laughs> same as John! Wait, is it? Yes! So, two points. Thank you. Shelby, two points for John. All right, and there you go. That was the cat for a second there. I was like, wait, yes. what? I don't know. He was looking away. So I was like, Thank you. yes, I can't. Yeah. Then so I saw the telephone. Okay, so go ahead, Shelby. Did you get your two yet? Damn. I don't want to use these but anyway. I don't know if this one, what the idea I have in my head, would make sense to everybody else. Okay, I'm just gonna go with death. <laughs> Death? Death. Okay. Fear of death. Wow. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Wait, I'm not done. You did it. Okay, I'll think of mine. Okay. Shut up. I keep thinking I'm going to flip the card over. Again. Yeah. Fire no, it's a it. heart. Oh. Death. Well. I'll go with this one. I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got it. <laughs> so if I pick I one, I concocting death. It's the same as the game where each everybody moves three, and I move if backwards. If at least one player, but not all. Have found the card, so you get three points. And you get I four. Get, I get four points plus I picked you yeah. picked my card. You get four Yeah, that's what you said. Four, four points. One, two, three, four. I thought you guys would pick that one for sure. <laughs> I was like, that's a good one. Okay. Whose card is that? Mine. No. <laughs> but I figured death he's concocting something. Okay, so these go I mean, into the stack. Like he's because he had did, that expression on Did you all face. get cards yet? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, no. Okay. Okay, it's my turn. Are you put something like fun? I've been doing yeah. death of fear. Oops. It is my turn. Oops. I think for the audience, you could see if you have more players, it can be pretty fun. Yeah. A lot of stories happening. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle behind my back, over my head. Turn your phone Jane. off. <laughs> okay. Wait, what was your clue again? Oops. Oh yeah. Oops. Okay, this is a good one. What does she have in her hand? Looks like a slingshot. Do you think it's an oops? I mean... Oh, dang it. Hold on, let me see this card. I have two guesses though. 
Ah. Jane, you can pick first. I want to see what you pick. No. <laughs> You're, you two are the one picking. You go first. I went first. Can I change time. mine? <laughs> no. Ah, it's between two of them. Like one of them is like very John with my oops. I don't know. I'm just gonna go with this one. Oh no. Ah. <sighs> I'll go with that one. It's okay. So the cool. card I had. Oh this. my gosh! See it. Oh, See, I thought so... you were asking about what it was to throw me off. So I... if no players find like, the like active card. Your card. Oh, but this, look at this. If, <laughs> but this can work backfire. If no players find the active player's card, which is mine, then I get no points, but the other two get two points plus one bonus point if that player put it on the other yeah, card. Yeah, so you're three. Because so, that was mine. So, and that was mine. So I get, we both one, get two. Three. Three. So move her. No, we get three. I get three because so, uh, you picked both mine. Three. Yeah. Three. Oh, so, man, I'm not even double digits there yet. There we go. <laughs> But you don't understand it. Everybody got their cards? Yes. Okay. Jane? Oh, I thought it was me. No, no. we're going to go. John just went. I just went. Oh, that's, that's right. I said, Aww. oops. Darn. It backfired on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll say I need tweezers. I need tweezers. Oh man, you're going to take the two cards I wanted. There's two cards. too, but I don't. <laughs> okay, which is your card, Jane? It was the first one. Dang it. Why so, was it the first one? Oh, okay. okay. The purse, like, you know, just... Ah, okay. So, so if at least one player gets the card, the X player gets three points, plus a bonus point. That was one of mine. Darn it. So, one, two, three, four. And, and I get the three. active points get I three get points. I get three. Y'all double digits? Yes. Bummer. That's it. Bummer. Bummer. <laughs> Wait, what is this a picture of? Oh, it's a snail. This is a good one. There's a lot of choices here. Same one as John. I hate y'all. Yeah. Was <laughs> that your card? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So because of that, we each get two points. So one, two for Jane, and one, two for John. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Well, this is where we are going to end the game because of time constraints. Uh, here's your card. And, but as you can see, um, it would keep advancing till we either run out of cards in the deck here or the first one who reaches 30 points. Um, as it's interesting, the scoring on this is not always the easiest thing to understand, but if you just take your time and look at the three options, it's pretty clear uh, where to move or not move your token ahead. Um, other than that, it's a really fun game. Uh, it can be very creative with storytelling, especially this uh, summer with the uh, summer reading program. And we hope you enjoyed our presentation of Dixon. And please, we uh, uh, invite you to come in and check out our other board games. And uh, hope to check them out and have a lot of fun with them. Thanks. Again.